today we're going to try creating a symmetrical drawing inspired by Mini Evans. So we're going to start by folding our paper in half lengthwise. We want to line up the corners best you can. Crease your paper. Okay, and open it back up. And we're creating a line of symmetry for our symmetrical drawing. So I went over my line in pencil just so I can see it a little bit better. Um, but I'll erase it at the end. So if you want to trace over your pencil, you can. Just do it lightly so it's easy to erase. And then I'm going to start on my abstract design. So in abstract art, you can create anything you want using different shapes and maybe different lines or different patterns. Um, you can add pictures in there, um, but it does not have to be anything that is realistic. It doesn't have to look like something you would see in real life. So I'm going to start by just creating some different shapes for mine. So create this kind of wavy shape. So anything I create on this side of my line of symmetry, I have to try to create on the other side, but we're going to flip it and make it kind of opposite. So it looks like a mirror or a reflection. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect, but just try your best. All right. Um, create that kind of shape. And I don't really have a plan of what I want this to look like by the end. I'm just kind of testing things out and seeing what happens. So I'm just going to start by drawing different shapes. Remember, anything you do on one side you have to do on the other side. I'll add some smaller shapes that come off of here. So I'm just creating my design using different shapes to start. And then after I figure out all the shapes that I want, I could go back and add some more details. And maybe I'll add some lines down here. Curling line. So it's a little bit of a challenge to create it the same on the other side, but opposite. But it's fun. And once you start trying, you'll get the hang of it after a little bit. Okay. I'll add a few more. Um, let's see. Add a diamond. Okay, so you can keep adding until you like your design. Maybe I'll go back in and add some smaller shapes, or maybe I'll add some patterns to things. Okay, so we're just going to start with the drawing part of things today. And then next lesson, we'll be adding some color to our designs.